This conference will now be recorded. The time being 7 p.m., we will now bring the Tilton Budget Committee of January 4th, 2023, order. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with justice for all. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I like the boys in the <laughs> We can start with the minutes of <laughs> December 7th. It's just a throat tickle. <laughs> yeah. I did make a correction that Tim found on your copy. What was that? I made a correction that Tim found on your copy. Yeah, I know there was one. I had a point there, I think. Is that on this one? Yeah, Franklin DNA, right? Mm -hmm. I think that was the only correction I had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll move we accept the Wednesday, December 7th, 2022 budget committee meetings with the correction of um, Franklin BNA replacing the LRMC in the uh, amount to uh, approve 6,000 instead of request of 12,572. Second. Any other um, corrections or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. What else we got? No. Tim wants to. You want to run a floor for any reason there? Uh, no, just to answer any questions. Um, the uh, uh, you know with year end, uh, I'll have a new budget for you this next week, an updated budget with everything. But uh, didn't have an opportunity to pull that together for today. Uh, there will be a couple of minor changes, I think, um, namely the Janitorial lines uh, for we put one dollar in them for the PD and town hall. Uh -huh. but, uh, we have to, uh, in order to cancel the contract, we need 30 day notice. So we have to budget for the month of January. So uh, that would be relatively minor. And outside of that, I can just tell you, uh, I got the bill today for um, December's. Um, uh, curbside collection and recycling disposal. And the recycling disposal is $157 a ton. Um, and we're, it are, it's almost double what our December rate is for tipping fees at Wheel Brain. For just course, a regular? In January. What's that? So the recycling was like twice as much the as? Single stream recycling per ton is almost double. Yeah. The normal right, waste? Uh, 
yeah so then why are we ways. why are we doing that right <laughs> yeah right so, yeah i mean it varies but uh this particular month is 157 dollars a ton so, do crazy. you think that was because it was more i think like people no, 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 it's, it's, it's a variable rate. rate. It's a variable rate. How does they arrive at a variable rate? It's wrapping paper. Huh? <laughs> the extra wrapping paper getting dumped in from the last month. No, I didn't know if people heard that. <laughs> no, this was it for recycling and they were just cleaning stuff out. And, oh, no, no, know. it's no, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, they, I, um, if the cost the per ton, I don't know. Less people are purchasing it. Yeah. Well, you're saying the cost per ton varies. Yes, on the recycling disposal. But and I just don't know. Single stream. How do you? You how pay do you, what the recycling center, or you pay what the recycling center uh, tipping fees are that particular month. So if they're separating and they find there's more glass or something, it, or and if mean, they can I, reject loads, but it's based off of uh, the, the value of single stream recycling by ton uh, at that. Yeah, at that market rate. So I imagine there's a certain amount of, you know, glass, cardboard, plastics, aluminum in each you know, ton that they can. So you mean if there was less metal, they might charge more for time? I, yeah, I don't understand. I don't understand the parameters or how yeah. they how Basically, they're doing. Basically, you take your recycling to a, a center that will accept it, and you pay what they tell you you're going to pay. Okay. That's basically the way it works. Yeah, yeah. And it's it, presumably it's based off of the market rate. And what cost the market's pretty well but, dropped out. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So their resale is yeah. not what it was. And our, our uh, tipping fee is 70, um, 70, December's rate was at $78 a ton, thereabouts. So, um, you know, so 157 and it, uh, the tipping fee for Wheelbridge is going up to 85 in uh, January for 23. Mm -hmm. It goes up to 90 and um, 24 and so on and so forth. But uh, anyway, those were just the two things I thought I'd point out. So, sure. um, well, I was reading the uh, you know the, the website um, notice. I don't have any blue containers, so mine are green. So. I guess that's what they mean that the right. bigger Blue ones green. you're going to keep. You recycle. Mine are, yeah. Those of mine are most damaged. Both the, the tops are cracked, so they fill with water. I mean, I've been trying to repair them, and the, but because they're slapped around every every week, right. the cracks just get bigger again. Yeah. So if, if uh, people let uh, Bernard know, they'll, they'll make sure they get repaired. Can they get us a replacement? All we need is replacement mm -hmm. covers. So I can replace them, but oh, yeah, we'll take them. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. On that, on, I believe it's on that pamphlet, that digital pamphlet, that there's a yeah. number for Bernard to for the replacement right. stuff. So Is there notice being sent out to people? Because not everybody reads the website. Well, uh, so there's specific. We supplied, we, supplied, we supplied a mailing list, but um, we hadn't seen anything um, materialized from that. So. Uh, so I really don't know. They have spe spe specific requests, like they're supposed to leave some out there, and they're going to pick them up, and they're supposed to be cleaned out, and then they're going to pick them up at, at, in the next yeah, three, in the next three weeks. There's a schedule for picking. They've up. already started doing it. Okay, yeah, so I imagine if they empty these, they'll just pick mm -hmm. them up. So that, the, the garbage, yeah, the garbage ones, they'll leave. They will leave the what we currently use for recycling ones. Those ones right. Yeah. Left. Yeah. And, and it tells you in the future. which date. It's going to happen, and um, so if you're a Tuesday pickup, it tells you, you know, what it would normally be you know, for recycling and trash that sort of thing. So, um, so it's pretty, you know, it, you have to read it carefully, but it's all in there. Well, I just think some people are going to come out, and their their trash cans are going to be gone. And they're going to say, we've "What's going? Who well, stole my can?" We've had a few because they have no idea that that's going to happen. I've had calls yeah. and emails. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah you, that's why I've so the town. And go, oh my God, I don't know. The town could have, could have sent out a notice. No, no. For those people that have those cans. Should have sent it with the tax bill. Well, yeah. Unfortunately, there wasn't tax time to do that. We didn't pay our trash bill. They took the refund. Well, they could have stuck it to the garbage cans a couple weeks well, ago. Well, that's what I thought was going to happen. They love to stick other things to the cans. Why can't they just put the notice on it? Good Talk point. to the wrong that's guy. Good idea. Can wrong. <laughs> that's, <what laughs> we're out of time now. that's right. 
This town has never been good at notifying. Ever. It's expensive to do it right. Okay. So what's Those the story on up. um what is the story on Lockmere Water District? Yeah, let's talk about Lockmere. <laughs> They're not going to give us their budget until it's what? Approved by the state, by DRA. We don't want that budget. I, I have told you that three times. Even after they put mm -hmm. we have to play hardball. I make yes, a motion that we tell Lockmere District that it is necessary to have it here on our table next week, or it's a zero budget for us. And then they can deal with the state to get it back in our budget. I mean, they must have a copy of those. And send somebody to present it that knows what they're doing. That's, I'll second that motion. Any discussion on that motion? What was the motion? Uh, that we, we give them a deadline we, of next deadline Wednesday. Of give Lock Your Water District a deadline of having the budget here mm -hmm. next week, or we'll have to not recommend it. We have nothing to Can we be specific yeah. about the makeup of that budget? I don't want the one they sent to DRA. Right. We want a budget. I don't want their municipal service. Their form. Their well, what do you want? 2023 well, budget want? prepared. What was it? By their accountant, right? I mean, I don't know. We don't want the DRA paperwork. We want a real budget. Yeah. Okay, we want to. What's a, the word, Tim? We balance sheet. Of their expenditures by account and, and revenues. There you go. The what Tim said. Detail of expenses and revenues. Okay, and so detail of expenses and revenues. Present it. Not. So we want to um, ask for not the one they sent to DRA, but a detailed, detailed expense and income report. balance sheet or? Well, no, it, it'd be really more like a uh, profit and loss. <clears throat> well, the, I mean, just, and the problem, problem they're gonna have is I mean, uh, what you want to see is you want to see what they spent for postage, what they spent for. Right. So it's a line item, technically. A line item expenditure. Expense and revenue. Expense and revenue. We okay. don't want lump sums. Yeah. And the problem with the area's form is there's one place for revenues, essentially, right. and, and one <clears throat> one administrative expense line that they use. Right. So we want so, a detailed revenue and expense report. That's exactly it. Okay. But isn't that what we that ask all the groups coming in? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. But so they need to I, I, yeah. follow the guideline that we give everybody. Well, Lisa, just a question. Uh, to throw in the list. Have you checked your spam folder? Because she would probably come from outside the town. They, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm just speculating. <laughs> That's a good idea. It's Jessica. Jessica. And can we also say have someone that's, well, someone who can answer qualified committees? Questions. And a representative that can. Do they know answer. they're required by law to present their budget to us? I think we should Basically, tell them. when we tell them to. Yeah, that can all be on the motion. Yeah. Since you are required by law to there is present a, a budget to the tilt budget committee, we. You just recently. Yeah. What's that? Is it a report? Before, yeah, I can turn it out. Okay. Do you have it? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so for the moment, I rescind my motion. Better than what we currently have. So at the moment, I rescind my motion. Okay. Rescind your second. I'll I know these things. I have stuff that sits in my spam. We'll, we'll get that. Because I never usually get any in that yeah. one for some reason. So Judy just rescinded her motion and he rescinded his second. So we're going to we'll see what's going on. Gonna relax. Yeah. I'm going to relax for a minute. <laughs> That's okay. Good. We'll just... We were still working on it. <laughs> Yay. Let's see if it's what we need. 
I hope so. And then we need a person to put this. It's only in. two pages. That's, that is two pages more than we have right here. <laughs> it's a good starting point. All right. After we look at it, we can we can ask for more information. It's probably not easy. Yeah. I mean, we, at least we've got something to work with. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully. How many hours? Six. 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 Did he fall down in there or something? <laughs> Is that the printer? <laughs> That's too much security. How much longer do you need before your eyeballs are better? Um, they were supposed to take the stitches up today, and it's too swollen still. So they're like, oh, we'll try again next week. Okay, go me. Very. <laughs> yes. It's okay. What are you going to do? It's a yep. She's like, I'll just take them all by itself. He's like, I'm sorry. I'd like to wait a week. I'm like, oh, whatever. That's what you're getting paid the big bucks for. You tell me. Yeah, this is what you're looking for. This is what you're looking for. Is it detailed? Yeah, I would say that's very steep though. Mm -hmm. What I like? Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Can you blow it up for Stevie? <laughs> wow. <laughs> My wow. help. Thank you, Tim. Yeah. So excited. Lots of round numbers. I know, right? <laughs> How does that happen? Because this is their projected. This is their budget, not what they actually spend. <clears throat> oh, don't we usually make people give us their spent too? We do. Like their, their actual last year is actual, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's no do. actual. No I think we need that. Right. So there's no really way to budget this. <clears throat> we just need them to send us the actual actuals. And they'd be able to answer questions. Yeah, I mean, I, I, a lot of the stuff is pretty self-explanatory. See. But I think the actuals where we might have questions. Right, like what was actually spent? The real estate taxes are four thousand dollars even. That's easy to look up. Right, yeah, general government. That's up. Numbers. Probably give them a break. Mm -hmm. Payroll deduction. They do that so they can. Their bottom line is zero. Oh, look at that. How does that? Oh my God! Well, come on. They, they only bill. They only um, set. They set their rates to cover their expenses. Yeah, but right to the penny. But these are all round numbers. To the penny. Doesn't the commission like do it? It's a little suspect. Money <laughs> in, but yeah. Yeah. What's a small business? Easy, <clears> easy <throat> to do that. I do it all the time. I round it off. You know. So if you get the actual last last actual. Work or something. Okay, we're in the 2023. We need 2022 actual. If they have this, they'll have the actuals. Right. I don't see anything in repairs or maintenance. Am I missing it? They have pump station, a pump house, all the 600. General building repairs. Oh, yeah. Well, there it is. 4199. There's 850. So there's nothing in here to resolve the issue they're having with the contaminants in their water. Oh, 
Well, the sub purification oh, no. supply? Purification, but it's only $250. Yeah. It's just supplies. Yeah, that, they have chemicals, but I think that's something that they use. Chemicals, 5,000. Right. I think that's what they use anyway. And reagent supplies, meters and accessories. That's why it would be nice to see the actual, to see if they built any in for the issue. Water testing is 1,500. A lot of testing elements. Hey, Waterworks, 204. We got $4 to make it zero. <laughs> <laughs> it's the four bucks. The only one that doesn't work. All right, we'll put this well, aside. Let's start. So, get, yeah. so should we ask just, just Joe or? Uh, I just asked just for their account. Great, great. We should get Thank them you. for 20 and yeah, 21 and 22. Scott's like, okay, let me send another. I think we have them last year's. In, in the no, last year, no, also we got last year was the form they sent to same thing, but we got less last year. <laughs> <They're not laughs> MS form, <laughs> weren't they changing it? Accountants or something? Mm. Well, they were. Part? Yeah, they're kind of they're rearranging people and trying to get people to do stuff. So it's like, well, it's saying, so I think <laughs> yeah, that's their accountant was so new. Yeah, so right. they were having difficulty. So then what we should I want you to be to have them still come next week. Right? Yeah, if you guys think we should have somebody come in to explain we the have expenditures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'd be nice if, if the stuff comes in ahead of time, if we can have it ahead of time to look at it. Do you think we could get Jessica? Or is that the one? I, I, I can ask. Out? She wasn't very available the last time. Yeah, because I mean, Paul, the law Paul requires would, one be, of them would be able to help us. You know, he, he wouldn't know. He wouldn't. Yeah. Well, no, I know he, he obviously he would. Yeah. Does he have an administrative assistant? Someone that pays the bills and stuff for him that might understand the budget better than him. Isn't that Jessica? She's their accountant. Oh, isn't that the person that would do that for them? I don't know. I'm asking, I don't we'll know the structure of the office. I don't know. The accountant doesn't necessarily yeah. do it, but they can. I mean, it looks like payroll is only $4,800. Is that just his salary? Oh, no, they got more down here. They got system operators, 11000 Well, those are the ones that run the pump, the wells, though, and stuff. I don't see uh, up taxes. Administrative payor. Yeah, there's admin and water services, and that could be outsourced to somebody. Right. Well, this says it's administrative payroll, like she said. So this there's no. Is that his salary? Company has to match taxes, so there has to be payroll taxes. Yeah. I mean, it, there's a 4155 deduction. Unless it's like a stipend or something. Unless it's a W9 or something, right? That's why it'd be nice to have someone that could answer the question. So let's see, you contacted Jessica? Yep. Uh, so I should we have Lisa? Actuals for 22, actuals for 21, and if she can be here next week at 7 p.m. We, or someone Some that, or someone, anybody that can explain. <laughs> the answer questions. The, uh, the more that you get, the more chance that the, the state. Is <laughs> it, is it is required by law that someone is that. Someone capable of answering <laughs> It won't keep you long. I know you go by the hours. now. I wonder if this is prepared for us. <coughs> yeah. Well, I, I know they changed their software last year, the beginning of the year. She's using QuickBooks. She they, right they deducted uh, they deducted money out of their reserve. I think uh, it's almost sixteen hundred dollars. I think they're in the process of doing that last year because it wasn't really. So that may have been software and hardware. Yeah. yeah. If they have QuickBooks, they have access. Yeah. Looks like this form was created yeah, this one November 25th. Yes, that's what it Over a month ago? That was probably when they were submitting it to be 
already. All right. Because that's what Joe, I think it's been from my conversations back and forth with Joe is they've got this locked into their heads that the stuff needs to go to DRA before it comes to us, which we have clearly told them it doesn't. Right. Then so. the accountants should know that. Let's do some good things. So should Lisa reach out to the gentleman as well and tell him that we're putting him on the agenda for seven and that someone needs to be here that can answer questions? I think we've done, we're, By law. we're doing that. Well, he's contacting the, Jessica. the accountant, but what if she says, no, I can't make it? I mean, he should have an opportunity to make sure somebody's here. He's the one really responsible. So we'll have Lisa reach out to Paul, Paul and say, thank you for the budget overview, but we would like last year's actuals and the year before actuals. She just got back to me. So and yes. someone to explain them. So she said, let me confirm with Goudreau and check the status with the DRA. I said, we don't need the DRA stuff, just the actuals and a rent from the units. So they're still talking about DRA. Well, the <laughs> thing about it is, is they send, they send the budget, their budget to DRA, they're, they think, and we change it. Well, what, what DRA gets, there, of a seven-page document, there's about um, eight to ten places that yeah. they have to fill in numbers. It is so consolidated that there's nothing that DRA would be changing on there. Um, I, I, I mean, I had to do it for them one year when they were changing personnel, and it was so late that they needed help. So uh, DRA had asked me to reach out and work with them so they could get there their report done or else we weren't going to the tax rate. And um, so it is very little that goes on that form, um, at least that they've reported in the past, unless unless they're now splitting things out. I don't know if that's possible. I doubt it. It's $52,000. And in fact, <laughs> in the town report, we consolidate those seven pages down to one uh, consolidated statement of the MS form, it would just be such a waste of paper. We're against waste. It's so they must have monies in reserve. They do. They have a capital or expendable trust fund uh, that has about ninety thousand dollars in it. Well, it's not, so that would be on there. It would be on the balance sheet or for the year. So we should. We should. Well, it's it's a expendable trust, so they they add and subtract money from it. So uh, generally speaking, I think they, not speaking for them, but um, my seeing their activity with the trustees is uh, when they've had money left over at the end of the year, they deposit it in there, and then uh, when they've had uh, extraordinary expenses for things, they had to buy a snow blower one year, uh, they bought the software and maybe hardware. Uh, new system another year uh, things of that sort so but that should be included in the reports we get uh yeah right no. i mean we get them from other not <laughs> right they won't be on the reports they give us unless she gives the balance sheet. right <laughs> and that would show you the assets that, that they own is, yeah. as well in their current accounts that sort of thing. <clears throat> we should have that I mean, there's no way that they're going <laughs> to spend exactly what's no. here and end it's up with exactly rounded. zero. Yeah. That's we crazy. We other nonprofits to tell us what they have in the bank. Right? We, well, no, we yeah. Blow it, yeah. But we've given people because they have too much money in the bank. So we'll be asking for a balance sheet as well. <clears throat> that will show the other items. The trial balance contains both balance sheet and profit. All right, so we want a trial balance and we want 20 
one in 22 actual? Well, the mm -hmm. trial balance is actual, yeah. <laughs> so as, of, quick books, yeah. as of the end of November, they had $95,082 in their reserve account, expendable trust, Lockmere Village District expendable trust fund. How many? 82? 85? 95. 95. 95. Yeah. $95,082. As of the end of November. See, that one's not even. I was wondering why it wasn't 95 even. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. Well, my first question is, you know, what is their actual income? Well, it's right there. What it's not 52,244. 52,244. This is right there. Right. Right. Well, that's what we're... So they're like the sewer Just Their income is based they, on fees. They set the rate People, based on their anticipated <clears throat> expenses. People use water. They move away for six months and don't use water. I mean, that... Is so, so very yeah, there's so many things so. that affect it. Somebody springs a leak, <laughs> now they're gonna be charged for too much water. Gonna, I mean, so this is not what they their income is. This is what they're estimating. Right. That's yeah. what their plan is. It's an overview, right? So have we got what have we got? We're going to send them. So am I still sending that kind of stuff to Paul? I would, whatever the day she had just outlined, I would send that to Paul and maybe CC Jessica on it. That's my suggestion. Is there an email for Paul? I have no idea. Um, I've never emailed him because I didn't think he'd be. Uh, I don't believe he's got a computer. No, because I had to order a part for him from my computer at the hardware store. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. With his, with, he'll, with his mailing address. Because he didn't have a computer. Yeah. So what? we who do we contact? I was Jessica. Jessica and you know what? CC Joe Jessica. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> He'll probably be able to get mm. yeah, all the way. So it's saying well, I don't think the three four two is the customer. I think that's the line. No, Joe is Joe gave me Jessica. How many customers okay, did they so have? So then you communicated to Jessica. Yeah, Joe's been responsible about it and then he's like Bunch. He's just okay. one of three. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. Tired, aren't you? <laughs> so what do you have, Lisa? We're looking for a 2021, 2022. The detailed list of expenses and revenues for 2021, 2022. No, you can change it to trial balance for 21 and 22 uh, actuals. So let's see, trial balance actuals. actuals. Yeah. And the balance sheet? That's on the trial balance. So just ask for the trial balance. Mm -hmm. And have someone here that can answer questions. By law. They are required to appear. <laughs> and you can say in your, that they are required by law to appear before the budget committee. Yeah, you could make it's that a, the opening statement. Mm -hmm. As you as you know, you are required by law to um, appear, before. appear before the budget committee. This is what we would like to see. Right. And we'd like to see you next Wednesday. Is this what, the 11th? Today yeah. is the 4th, so it would be the 11th. DRA has said this is uh, not uncommon. We will not accept the DRA forms in because lieu of Because there's so many little... Lisa, uh, we will not accept the, the DRA state. forms in lieu of this request. Yeah, they just want to participate. Well, they don't have a clue. Have we done the sewer sewer department yet here? We what? I don't even think we got a budget, did we? For what? <laughs> not, not yet. Okay. So we got nothing from them either. Okay, because we usually see them too. So we need to get that. That'll be picture. another email later. Yeah. Um, the other thing I know is uh, like, what? I think sewer department. Sewer the, 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 the bottom ago. line is five twelve oh seventy, but that's all I know. The only thing I, I was aware of was that the bottom line was 512.070, but I haven't seen anything. For the sewer? Yeah. That. Yeah. I thought we approved it. 
Without getting involved? Uh, well, you, you may have. Since it hasn't gotten as far? I'll check the website. I didn't think we had the budget for one yet. No. I wasn't at their meeting in December because right. I don't we, share germs. We didn't have that. We only had two meetings in December. Oh, we only had one meeting in December. Right? And then it was canceled. Mm. Yeah, you had two. They met the third okay. Tuesday. So we had the 14th there. Mm -hmm. We met the 20th. So we haven't had the minutes for the 14th. No, the next huh? You'll have the next, next meeting. Okay. Um, and then public hearing is February. Yeah, we'll have to. We have to be what ten days before. Yeah, I don't have the calendar. Yeah. Um, so we should discuss that next meeting too. What? When is the best day for our? Then we're gonna have to vote on the budget. Public hearing, right? That's we could vote on it at that point if we want. Unless we want to, we should be vote on it before. One day to hold at least one budget hearing is Friday, February seventeenth. So uh, the only reason I would ask if you can vote earlier than that would be um, the deadline for the town report. So for people to be mm. able to have a town report to see what the budget committee has voted on, what the selectmen have voted on, you know, that um, it would be helpful if that could be um, you know, in the next few weeks. Okay, when is the deadline? Uh, the deadline's next Friday, but, um, okay. but, you know, there are things that are going to come in. Well, I don't know why we can't do, do that next week, vote on the, the budget, uh, whatever we need, different departments or the whole one, whatever. Um, but we've already voted on most of the outside agencies. Right. Yeah. So we I just. I do have those in the budget you'll get next yeah. week as of update. Okay. Did I read somewhere that they. So I've been have done something creative as far as I don't know if it's with Birch Hill Kennels or with somebody else that pay as you go. We do uh, we work with um, Franklin Franklin Animal Shelter. That's right. Okay, and so we don't have to worry about Birch Hill Birch Kennels. Hill is no. um, and we lowered that. Um, and then Lakes Region Planning. I don't think we have voted on Lakes Region Planning. We don't even have numbers. Is it just a line it's, item it's in the budget? It's in the budget, yeah. Um, <clears throat> if you have your budget from uh, 15th, um, yeah, so it'd be um, the first item on outside agencies. Uh, it was uh, the request was 4155, $4,155. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that up or down from last year? Oh, same. Uh, Three hundred thirty-two dollars. It was thirty-five, thirty-one, fifty-five. Uh, thirty-eight, thirty-eight. Was, oh, uh, my is going in. So next week you will have reviews or some. Yep, I'll have an updated. Great. It'll be very little changed, but uh, I don't expect a lot happening tomorrow. Um, we'll just have that one month of uh, janitorial uh, added. <clears throat> to get a new electric bill yet? Uh, for street lighting, yes, um, but not for uh, not for the. Was there much increase on the street lighting? Uh, it, it was, uh, unfortunately, it, it really didn't do much good because um, there were there were eight pages of credits and about eight pages of, uh, uh, of changing out all the old lighting, the new lighting, and uh, the time frames were skewed 
So they actually sent us uh, our two street lighting bills in a FedEx packet that was about this <laughs> thick. Uh, so <laughs> the bottom line was it was almost a wash. I think uh, all the street lighting was about two hundred dollars for the month, but there was a lot that that um, transitioned. So it wasn't wasn't representative. Let me put it that way. But I did based on what I could see from the rates that they're charging for the fixtures and everything else, I did up the, uh, or lower the expense for street lighting. Um, and, uh, and we did receive a, uh, the rebate that we were expecting from Eversource um, yeah, as, at the completion of the project, so that was good. So uh, everything else has gone well with it. And um, <laughs> we've been trained on them. They're addressable street lights. It's all pretty cool. Great. We got one out. We do. Are we going to request a budget from Sewer? I get a report each morning. We should, yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, they say to give it two days. So to reboot. we should request a budget from the Sewer Commission. Yeah, I'll ask them. Okay, great. Pillsbury is fine. For next week? Yeah. Yeah, I'll ask them. I'm assuming she already knows one. Yeah, I would think. Yeah. Do they come and present it? The sewer? They usually do. They, they usually do. Have, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> okay. We'll have a nice busy week next Wednesday. Did anybody else have questions? Was that, was that Did you all receive um, Jeannie Forrester's responses? Yes. Any questions? It was, I thought it was I a, a good. It. Uh, bullet points, what's happening with the economic development and the other uh, expenses to the town hall. That would... Oh, the assessment, right? Right. Well, it was... Oh, yeah, there's... I have it here. Budget questions. Yeah, you all got the... The chimney, the boiler, the roof. Right. Right. And the, the boiler uh, was encumbered. Um, so, uh, and a roof repair <clears> was <throat> encumbered. That was a minor, uh, minor repair. So if a new boiler is going in, then there's no need to repair the chimney because new boilers are not dented like that old antique in the basement. So that expense should be gone, repairing the chimney. And if the cost of the new boiler was encumbered, what is the other expense? I understand there was an assessment done at Town Hall, but a lot of those things don't have to be done immediately. ADA things don't have to be done immediately. They only have to be done if extensive repairs are done on the building. Yeah, she uh, she's gathering quotes right now on the ADA. Uh, she what? She is gathering quotes right now on the ADA uh, portions. So right, but again, they don't have to be done because there are no significant changes being done to town hall. We're not moving doors or walls or ceilings or reconstruction. So I'm just letting you know where she, where the process is. So I, I would anticipate that there'd be something happening in 23 regarding that. I think that's the point. That's what she says. Phase two will begin in 2023. They have 5,000 in the budget for an 88 consultant. 12% increase. It would be nice if it was spread more over the DPW, a couple of years. The DPW will do the work. Well, we can change that. Mm. I guess what I, I was looking for was more specifics on exactly what was going to be done in 23 and the costs. But my, as you said, there's no estimate. So the cost well, must be a basic. So yep. she's working, like I said, she's working on that. <clears throat> I don't think they know yet because they're just put 5,000 for a consultant, right? To 
figure that out. Right, and uh, that may, yeah, right, that's correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's getting uh, getting quotes on the consultant as well. The first one came back a little high. <laughs> getting quotes on anything these days is not that easy. No, no. Um, Everybody seems to be very busy. So the consultant's going to tell us what needs to be ADA. Is that what this consultant is? For the change. I think, yeah, and, and I think. Because you yeah, know what ADA regulations are. Well, I think the, the idea also is if Public Works is going to be um, doing the, the work, that uh, they would need, uh, I think the ideal is to find somebody that can not only you know, spec it, but also design it so they can just do the build. Mm -hmm. Save the money on the build yeah. side. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is. Right. Yeah. Did anyone have any questions on any of the budget lines? Maybe, not now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great budget considering the inflation and everything that's happening that it's only up what 2.9 percent uh 2.2 2.2 last but it'll, it'll yeah change slightly right it might have been even if the administrative side had done the same job that the police and public works had done on theirs mm -hmm. well and a good portion of that is is the um uh, the town hall maintenance repairs that's fifty thousand uh, that increase. Right. Well, yeah. So, but what is that fifty thousand for <laughs> specifically? It's a problem. <clears throat> so we're we're currently trying to figure out do we do a patch right now and then a bigger, more extensive job, or do we just go with the bigger, more extensive job? Right away? And do you have estimates for the roof? They vary. <laughs> oh, I'm sure greatly. Yeah. They do. Where's the patching? It's, I don't know exactly up there. There's, does it Around the vents? Like it's leaking or anything? I don't know. It's, there's, it's or I should thing. say the drain? It's a membrane. <clears throat> so it's just fracking. Yeah, it's, it's not it's leaking yet or anything. I can, we we yeah. have had problems uh, with it in the past. It was repaired. Which one year was that? Um, the rain event? Oh, that windy one. Yeah, but yeah, no. Yeah, we've we've had water <laughs> coming down before, but um, I'm trying to think, uh, it was repaired. It was repaired at one point after you were here during that. The membrane had a tear in it. Yeah. So they patched it. Yeah. They sealed it. And right and then now, the drain froze because the tape wasn't turned yeah, on and it all that's right. backed. I can get you a good deal on Flex Seal. <laughs> That's good stuff. How about just buy a big blue tarp? Yeah. <laughs> that does look, look nice. Yeah. They look nice when they stop the lot. <laughs> it only takes about three years of sun for those to go down. You're right. <laughs> Actually, one year for the blue ones. Yeah. yeah. The ones, right? Get the gray ones, are better. Yeah. It's not weather, it's sun that breaks that stuff down. Yeah. Yeah, the sun, yeah. plastic. I can tell you the uh, building revenues are going to be good next year. Um, there's four projects uh, that should um, bring in some good revenue for building permits. Up at the Anchorage. The uh, preserve, New home. which is the Anchorage the Seattle, project. The U-Haul. And then Tilton School has a project coming up. and. Um, What's U Haul doing? Expanding. Uh, yeah, big expansion. They have to put a new septic system. <laughs> That's why I know because <laughs> the other one isn't working well. Yeah, right. But uh, they they did an outstanding uh, revenue this year. They really uh, came in very strong at the end of the year, and uh, 
through the dialysis center um, added to that. So uh, that should be a good year for, for permits. Please. Yeah, Tilton, well, Tilton's got a current project, a mansion project that just started, and then they'll shift to the other side of the building, which is a, which is considered a second project. As yeah. Well, so. Yes. Well, it sounds like people need to go home and get some medicine. Uh, are we all set? Do you think we have everything we need for next week? Let's hope. Well, next week will be long. Yes, it will. Would you like to make a motion? Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.